Welcome back. This is Dan Habe with Sea of Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to take a look at how we can take somebody's opt-in information in ClickFunnels and push it over to a Google Sheet. So let's just take a look at our opt-in form right here. Of course, you're going to build it on an opt-in page type, and we have a name field, and uh, you can see here all your different options here. You got your full name, first name, last name. In this case here, I'm using the full name your email address, your phone number, et cetera, et cetera. And then down here on this last one, I used a custom field here just to make sure that would work right. So I chose custom type, and then I just typed in, this would be a uh, custom type, it would be our shirt size, and then somebody can put in whatever size shirt they have. And I just gave them their options right there that they could type in. So let's go in here and we're gonna click on preview. And because I already run through this once, it pre-popped everything. It's got my name, my email address, and the size of my shirt. So we're going to click on here to sign up. So the next thing we want to do is go into our Google account, go in and create a new Google Sheet. And all you want to do is once you create the sheet, you want to give it three headers up here at the top to correspond with the headers we had. So we had our name, we had our email, and then we had our shirt size. So we're just going to say name, email, and shirt size. No need to save it. It auto saves itself. Then we're going to go into Zapier and we're going to tell it to make a zap. And the one thing I always forget to do is name it. So let's just name it here real quick. And we're going to say we want a um, CF to Google Sheets, we'll say. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to find our ClickFunnels account. If you don't see it here, just type, start typing ClickFunnels in here, and it will pull it up for you. So we'll pull up ClickFunnels, and then we're going to choose a trigger event, and we're going to say new contact activity. So we're going to do that. We're going to click continue. And then we're going to be prompted to choose our ClickFunnels account. If you have not already signed in, you'll have to sign in and do all that stuff. And now we'll click continue. And now it pulls up the list of all of your funnels. And so I'm going to click on this here and you're going to see right away it doesn't show it. Now I've got, I forget how many hundreds of funnels in my account. And actually the first time I went through here, I couldn't get it to find the funnel I had built specifically for this because I had so many funnels and it would only load up 300. So I don't know if that's a limitation of ClickFunnels or Zapier or if it's because I'm using a free account, not a paid account. I don't know what that is, but I had to modify one of my existing funnels. And so we just called that here Zapier Test. And then we're going to go to our funnel step and we're going to click on this. We're going to load it up. And we're going to say we want our zap opt-in because that's what the name of this was. So let me just back out of here for a second. Let's leave this. So you see the name of the funnel here, Zapier Test. And then the first page here was zap opt-in, which is what we want. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on continue. And we're going to test the trigger. And at this point here, it's now gone into ClickFunnels, and it found the uh, trigger, it found the, the most recent one that we just created, is what it's really looking for, the most recent record that was created on that page in that funnel, and it pulled up all the information here. So we're done with this, we can continue. And it'll bring us to our second step, which is to create a Google Sheet. Well, we already created the Google Sheet, but now we just have to find it. So let's choose an action. We want to create a spreadsheet row. Click on Continue. And then we have to, again, tie this to our Google account. So you may have to opt in there, or not opt in there, uh, sign in to your Google account at that point. And then we're going to choose the drive, and we're going to say here we want this on my Google Drive whatever yours may be called, something different, but it'll pull up your Google Drive account. And then we're going to look for the spreadsheet that we just created. And here it is, Zapier CF to GS Demo. We'll come over here. We can see that's exactly what it's called. You can also see that right there. And then we want the worksheet. We only have one worksheet in there, so that will be sheet number one. And now in here, what it did is it went out and found the name, the email, and the shirt size. Had we not put these in here, it would not have found anything. So that's why you got to create your Google Sheet first and make sure you have these column headers in there like that. So now we want to match these up. 
So it's saying, okay, we already pulled the information in from ClickFunnels. What needs to go into this name blank here? And of course it is name right here. So again, this here is the ClickFunnels information and we're telling it we want it to go into this column on the spreadsheet. So we got that one done. Now we're gonna come into our email. Again, the email is right here. We'll click on that and then we have shirt size. Now, because this is a custom field, this one's a lot tougher to find. So we're just going to click on show all and we're going to scroll down on the page and we're going to slowly scroll down here until we come up with our shirt size. And here it is right here, shirt size and the 2XL is populated right in there with it. And so now we have everything set. We can click on continue. And it tells us right here, we are on, on our Google Drive, we got our spreadsheet, we got our sheet one, we got the name, email, and the XXL size. And so we're going to test and continue. So now it says the zap is ready. And we can turn on the zap at this point. But of course, it also took our test information and sent it over to our sheet. And here it all is. It's the name, email, and the size of the shirt. So that's it. That's all you got to do besides, like I said, turn on your zap right there by clicking that. And then you are good to go. And every single lead that comes into ClickFunnels at that point will immediately be sent over to a Google Sheet. So as always, if you've got any questions, just let me know.